Um, wh when I discovered my passion for art, I think that was, I've been drawing for a long time, like since I was a kid, and it's just kind of been something I've always done, and, but I never really took it very seriously until like around COVID time, and everything was kind of shutting down, and I was like, huh, what do I do with my life? And then I sort of decided to take art classes again, and that's when I decided like, Oh, I think I want to do this in, my, in the future, like seriously. I think that the biggest art-related accomplishment I've had was selling my first piece of artwork because I think that gave me a lot more confidence in my own art-making abilities. Because I think prior to that, um, I didn't really see my art as something that could be like as valuable for other people. So that helped me have more confidence in my own art. my art um right now i'm sort of just preparing for college because i'm building my art portfolio for college like art school so i guess i don't know there's nothing my art is sort of like very geared like my art right now is sort of geared towards what colleges want to see which is like really technical stuff like art studies and like still life um and i hope to break out of that one day because like um, after a while, after like admissions and like uh, college jobs are done, I have to eventually, I have to eventually, uh, what is it, uh, start making my own art and yeah. I'm gonna major in animation, so hopefully I get to like animate some stuff, maybe like I want to make films, I want to make like character designs and hopefully like, I guess I consume the most art like in animation form, like videos and movies and like TV shows um, and yeah okay also I think I draw a lot of my inspiration like from the environment around me so sometimes I just like to like go to the park and like draw trees and stuff like that so I think that a lot of the times art is an extremely personal process at least for me and probably for lots of other artists as well um, just because a lot of the times it's emotional, you channel your own personal feelings into it, and it's also very vulnerable because it's displayed for other people to see. But what makes art meaningful is how other people can also see aspects of their own identity or their own feelings in your artwork. And so in that way, art can really build connections between people, and that's what gives it meaning in my opinion. So how I drew this painting is an oil painting. Um, usually you start oil paintings with an under painting with, um, what is it, burnt umber. So you start by painting the darkest shades, like the darkest shadows, and then you put the lighter shades on top. But for this painting, I wanted to, it's like very lighting heavy, like the, you can see the light coming from the back of the marketplace and there's a lot of like harsh lighting that can be seen and it all, a lot of perspective. So I wanted to, to accentuate the lighting. I started by painting the whole canvas like that dark navy color um, and then I put in the, the, light, the light parts uh, as like an underpainting and then I added the color on top. So I think it was interesting. I like doing landscapes like that, like um, sort of like architecture -y paintings. Um, I think it's interesting to see how like you can take, I don't know, like a, because it kind of has like an atmosphere, right? Like I want to, um, I guess in my paintings, I like expressing that kind of atmosphere, how like the people and the architecture work together. So 